What's going on, YouTube? This video here. Back with another video. Uh, quick thought, quick idea. Uh, just in case you, uh, it might help you or, you know, maybe in the long run. So as you well know, I am most of the time I'm between shifts. Today is another uh, between shifts. Quick idea, get a quick pump, quick, you know, good ideas or uh, I call them combines. Okay. Um, so, like today, if I have a shift in a few hours, whatever, I'll come here and get a little quick pump or a quick workout. For let me start at the base. Like I've done the power lifting, I've done the super heavy lifting, all that stuff, all that rah rah rah. That's great, you know. But for your average everyday person who's not a professional. You know, you got some people who train like they're trying to compete and this and that. But when you got your average person who is just trying to maintain or even build muscle or strength, but you're not going super crazy like a professional, you know, you got to learn to incorporate this stuff into your work schedule. And like, a, you know, with responsibilities, whatever. So anyways, I'm not trying to talk too much. Um, so today... I'm doing chest. I always combine my chest and my back. I'm not a bodybuilder, as you can see. I'm not, I have muscles popping out everywhere well-defined. I, I focus more on functionality. Like, um, I'm also been dropping weight um, quite a bit, actually. And in the future, you'll see I'm gonna probably end up getting a lot smaller and toned. But I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm not focused on every having every muscle pop out. I'm more about functioning, preparing for old age, because we ain't getting, I'm 35 this year. We ain't getting younger, okay? Being strong enough, fast enough, have enough endurance, and then you go from there. Once I have all my enoughs, obviously I'm gonna be advancing, you know? So, but, when you're between shifts, you're maintaining until you have that off day or that, that moment where you can't go warrior, you know, which my day's coming. I can't wait. But uh, so this week has been a lot of crazy shifts. So <clears throat> maintaining but building at the same time. I use combines. OK, I call them combines. I combine different workouts. So for chest day, I combine my bench with my back. I always combine bench and back as much as I can, okay? Days on deadlift, obviously that's back. Excuse me. That's back, so I'll be doing push-ups that day. Or I'll even combine deadlifts with squats sometimes. I do combines. First of all, they destroy me quicker and better. You know, I feel more progress doing that. So I don't do shoulder day, then arm day. I don't do all that. You know, not, not hating on it. Okay, so anyways, um, so it's not gonna be a long video. I'm not doing my whole session. You know, I'm just giving it the idea. The point of these videos that I post or whatever is to, to expose, not expose, to give you an idea of the routine, okay? For those who need it, if you don't, if you more advanced or whatever, it's fine, move along and let the people who need it, you know, get a taste of it. So anyways, I always start with the bar. Excuse my little rack, okay? I am a recovering home gym person, owner or whatever. So now that I have a bigger facility, I can get me a bigger, more credible rack. This is a low ceiling rack, power uh, cage, whatever, by TDS. Hey, it got me through. I've had well over 500 pounds on this thing and it held up real good, so, for years, so. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I combine bench with lat pull, okay? Pull downs, okay? Now sometimes I like to combine a weighted exercise, plate loaded exercise with a body weight. So usually I'll do benching, then I'll hop over to my, uh, excuse the mess, I'll hop over to my little tower over there 
and do uh, pull-ups, okay? And then back and forth, okay? Today, I'm not doing that. Um, a little more sore than usual. Um, so we're gonna do that, okay? I'll do a few sets, it's just giving the idea, all right? There's my wrist wraps, I was looking for those. I always start with the bar, already warmed up, stretched, all of that, okay? Make sure you stretch, make sure you warm up. Um, in one of my previous videos, running in place, it's great for warming up, gets the plug on, okay? Look at the rack. I always use power racks when I bench. I don't bench on regular weight benches. Even though, unless you got a spotter, I'll be honest with you, I don't like depending on people. You know, especially if it's somebody I don't think is strong enough. I always bench in cages. Why? I like cages because of that reason. Now you may say, well that takes an inch off your chest. So what? At least I'm not dropping the weight on me. I can make up for that inch, that's easy. Come on now. I've gotten stuck. I hope you can hear me. I've gotten stuck plenty of times. And if you're real, if you've been doing this a while, especially heavy lifting, you'll know there are days where you will get stuck. You'll pick up a lift, squatting or benching, okay, where uh, you thought you had it, you felt good picking it up. Once you go to lower or to lower it, you ain't got it. And what happens? Boom, you're stuck. I was 15, I started lifting at 14 years old and I got stuck my first time. Thank God I knew how to handle it. I had the bar, I think I only had about 135, but I was, you know, I was a teenager, or preteen, whatever. And I got stuck, I didn't have nobody there. And I, it fell on my chest and I rolled it down to my stomach and just slid from under it. Thank God it didn't land on my neck, you know. So I was, like my young sons, I was teaching them like if you're not with me or somebody you know who's actually credible or strong enough, not your friends, not your buddies, do not bench on a regular weight bench. Get in a cage, okay? So anyway, that's just my advice. If you don't want it, fine. You know, if you have a better uh, way of doing it, that's cool. Okay, so I do my set on there. I need to come over to this. Now, this is a different kind of lap pull, pull down. I don't really see these too much, but it works. It's got some 35 on there, nothing super crazy. Average, obviously, I'm going to add weight as I go. Start in the pocket or down. This is my starting position. Come up, squeeze, squeeze. Yeah, do, you know. That's it. I'm saying squeeze. But you know, that's bodybuilder type stuff. You're trying to get the muscle full of blood and this and that. My main thing for pull downs is to help me to gain strength on the pull up. Now, I can do about 15 pull ups. I used to be able to do 20, you know, 25. I'm trying to get back to that because I'm a big guy. You don't usually see big guys doing pull ups. So, but like I said, it's functionality. You never know if you're in a disaster where you got to pull yourself up. You never know anything. You see hurricanes going all around the world. You see natural disasters. I think body weights, working out, body weight exercises, the squat, everything is a natural part of life. Pull-ups, everything. I got three kids. You never know, man. You never know if you have to throw your kids on your shoulders and walk through flooded waters. Oh, 
sound far fetched. It's her. We're in hurricane season right now. It's her. Look at Louisiana. How many times have you seen where Louisiana is flooded and people are walking through the waters with their family? You never know. Okay, that's one of the biggest things that drive me with working out. Okay, being prepared, being strong enough. Okay. Anyways, so normally I do, like I said, I'll do bench, then I'll do the lat pull, and then also I'll combine. I'm probably gonna do it not on the video though. I got a little preacher curl machine over there. I'll combine my uh, some arm extensions and curls also. So that's uh, bench, lat pull, pull down then um, curl and the, uh, what you call it, arm extension. And that, you know, you pull the pin and it goes from one to the other. So it's all one set, okay? Sounds exhausting? Nah, you get used to it. But you, you know, and you take it slow, you know, you don't race through it and do fast reps, you know? Each rep is concentrated in a good pace, okay? Um, so now, I do, I usually pump maybe the bar a little more. You should always start with the bar. Even if it feels like nothing, it is weight. I don't care. I don't care if it feels like nothing. A lot of people start with the bar. I think you should. Plus, I learned that from a lot of people I follow, you know. Um, I was that guy that always followed Strip Cartel, CT, Fletch, all them. I still follow them. You know, CT Fletcher, he slowed down a lot, but you know, come on. He's put in his work, you know. So, anyways, so now that I got that on there, I'll go and wrap this out. Don't need a spotter or anything. Yeah, no spotter. keep warming up until I get to like 315 or whatever so that's the idea I'm showing you okay I'm not gonna record the whole session but anyways so I keep going back and forth now I left one part out because I, I forgot but uh one thing I do okay I'll do it on this uh, next one and actually I do this every time I just kind of forgot to do it. So I also combine abs, okay? So my normal routine is actually I'll bench, immediately do a, I don't know what they're called. I'll show you. They're like mountain climber uh, kicks or whatever. You know, you do mountain climbers on the floor, but this you're on your back, okay? Kick outs or whatever you want to call them, okay? So I'll do a set of the bench, then the ab kick outs or whatever. Then I'll go to there, do the lap pull, and then I'll go to the preacher curl machine. Okay? Sounds like I'm all over the place, but the key factor is combines. I only got a few hours, so I mix it all in one, and it's all upper body, okay? 
Now, if you're a bodybuilder, to be honest with you, you can get away with it with bodybuilders too, but they like to concentrate on one muscle per workout or however they do it. You know, I'm not that type of athlete. I'm not that type of gym person, okay? I think, if I, I like to think of it like this. I draw a circle, right? And I have stems all around the circle. The middle is what my main focus is, and that's, I do boxing, okay? So the middle of the circle will be boxing for me. Then I'll have weightlifting, uh, anything else, cardio, treadmill, you know, even though uh, cardio running is part of boxing. But you see what I'm saying? As far as gloves on, punching, punching bag, all that, that's in the middle, okay? And then I branch everything around it, all right? So, and I used to have it where I was just the main weightlifter. All I did was lift weights, no cardio, no nothing, just straight up weightlifting, getting big, getting solid. You know, I used to be a lot bigger and a lot more toned and all that. I, I, I got, I'm getting older, you know, and I'm changing. And one thing about lifters, most lifters, you grow, you know, no matter what, you're always growing and always changing. You hear a lot of professionals say that. I wish I knew back then what I know now, you know. Lifting heavy all the time, it wears and tears on your joints. If you do it professionally, that's different. Okay, fine. But still, if you're not doing it professionally, what are you doing it for? You know? So anyways, okay, so last set I'll show, then that'll be it. Do it like that. Okay. What I normally do Now, I also, when I do combines like this, especially when it's like three of them, three different ones, I usually go stay between 10 and 15. Especially if I know I got a lot of them to do, I'll just do 10. But if I'm just benching whatever, I'll do like 20 reps or whatever. But you get to here, okay? So what I do is, this is what I normally do. And this works. Because remember, you're always using your core, no matter what. No matter what you're doing, you're using your core. So, why not mix it up and make it more, you know, impact more. So, here we go. Okay. Immediately, take your hands, Opposite, bring your knees all the way out. When you bring your knees to your chest, tuck it in, all the way in. It's a crunch. It's a crunch. It may not look like nothing, but the feeling is incredible. You feel your abs tighten, especially after a few uh, sets. Roll out, combine those two. It feels great. You're toning up your abs. You're already using your abs when you're benching. Secondary muscles, third, whatever, but you're still using them because it's your core. And then you immediately go right to the abs, kicking them out like that. It's a crunch, or a leg lift crunch, but you're on your back. It does a lot of damage. I remember I was doing that. 315, 20 reps. The heavier you go, the more you feel it also. It's great. Great combine. And then you immediately go to your lap pull, which also you're using your core.
10 of those. Then I'll go to the uh, preacher curl machine. So, review. Combine. Especially when you're short on time. Do about five to 10 reps, uh, sets of these. And the more you're doing, the more sets you'll do, okay? Excuse me. But it works great. Bench, right? Let's say 10. And then immediately, once you rack the bar, take your hands, put them out where, do uh, crunches, they're crunches. Kick your legs out, okay? Like I showed you. Then immediately, lat pull. Right? Then you uh, lean back and do the upper pull. And if you want, you can add in preacher curl, which will, that's your arms, and then extension. That's one big giant set. Maybe you don't have a lat pull. Maybe you don't have a preacher curl. Maybe you don't have a bench. Well, what if I only have a, a space and that's it? Then you combine push-ups with squats. I do it all the time. Learn burpees. They're great. It's like a, you ever see a pocket knife, right? You got your basic knives, right? Just a hand on a blade. But then you got your pocket knife with a whole bunch of tools in it. I like using metaphors. With a whole bunch of tools in it. Your screwdriver, your corkscrew and all that. Think of burpees like a pocket knife, if you think about it. You can do so many things in that burpee. All right, you start running in place, right? Go down, hit the push up, right? You jump up, that's a jump. Then you immediately do the squat, boom. Then you do your leg lift, that's one set. Whole bunch of tools, whole bunch of workouts, all in one. Like a pocket knife, where you got a whole bunch of tools all in one device. That's why I like to think of burpees, okay? so. This, I like to think of it like that. One big rep, whole bunch of stuff all in between, all in there at once. Unless you're the bodybuilder where you wanna make each head pop out and this and that, I'm not, that I'm not into that stuff, okay? Nothing wrong with it, I'm not into it, okay? I don't care about that, okay? I care about maintaining my weight, main staying in a, cal cal a calorie deficit, being strong enough, being able to function, being able to jump, run, bounce, you know, whatever. Being ready just in case I'm in a disaster or whatever. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. So that's the way I work. If you're that type, this will be great for you. So what you do, and I'm gonna end this video. Go to your workout space or whatever you do. It could be a living room. Okay. It could be the basement, it could be the back patio. Go to your space and see what you have. What are your tools? If you have no tools at all, fine. Then you should do push-ups and squats, body weight. Okay, whatever it is. I don't care if you got a kettlebell, one kettlebell. You know how many workouts you can do, exercises you can do with a kettlebell? A lot. Okay, and this is the age of information, okay? Look it up on YouTube. Everybody's posting videos. Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Okay, there's no excuses. No excuses. Get moving. Stay in motion. Misfit signing out.